Hello guys, it is Silent Nani and today we have a video on 5 crazy glitches in Black Ops Cold War. Now yesterday I did post a video on a compilation of glitches and I said in the video if that gets 100 likes in under 24 hours I will be posting another compilation. We did end up smashing that goal, thank you so much, and now I'm going to show you guys even more glitches in this video. Now some of these are not well known so you're going to walk away learning new glitches. And all of these work after patch 1.19. If you want another compilation of glitches, smash that like button. If we get to 115 likes within under 24 hours, then I will do another compilation of glitches and it will be awesome glitches and just some unknown glitches. But without further ado, let's get right into this next compilation of glitches. So the first one is going to be a easy truck pileup. Now they did patch the truck pileup where you went up the sliding barrier, but here is a different way of doing the pileup and a different way of getting them to pile up on the truck. It is really easy. You guys want to get quick revive, then juggernaut because these will help you out in this glitch. So make sure you have these, definitely want these. Next thing is you want to have this door closed throughout the whole game. Now you guys want to go to the pond area. You guys want to go all the way to this truck. Now, like I said, this isn't no mantle spot, and this is a new spot. So you guys need to have one zombie left. Do not have a whole wave, just have one zombie left. And then you guys want to come all the way over to the truck, and you guys want to jump on the truck like so. You want to make sure the zombie is hitting you from behind. At this point, you guys want to jump and slightly move to the right, just a tad bit. Once you are up here, if you are in the right spot, then all zombies will pile up right down below you. If they are throwing meat at you, then you are not in the right spot and you want to do it again. Now, if you are in the right spot, what will happen is the next wave, the zombies will start to come up on the truck, like so. And uh, maybe a few of them will come to you, but most of them will just go back into the pileup. When you're in this spot, I would just recommend jumping down and trying again at the end of the next wave. Because this spot is not great to be in if they jump on the back of the truck. Now, if you are in the right spot and you have done everything right, what will happen is the zombies will walk by that spot and just simply pile up. They will not jump on the truck whatsoever and you will be perfectly fine from all zombies all zombies will pile up right down below you and you will have an easy clear headshot and you guys can get those critical kills challenges this is like i said very good for camos and is super super easy when you're in this glitch you do have to deal with the dogs the dogs will come up and attack you and what you want to do is just take them out so make sure you guys keep that in mind also when you're on a dog round what might happen is one dog might be standing afk like far away just wait in the spot until he despawns then he will come back to you so keep that in mind and the boss will be able to attack you too i recommend you guys to bring a ring of fire because ring of fire will help you take out the boss really really easily i recommend the shockwave because the shockwave will destroy him and that is really what you guys want to bring so make sure you guys are careful make sure you guys remember that and when you see that boss take him out as soon as possible with their ring of fire but all zombies will pile right down below you and you guys will be perfectly fine so now let's move on to the next glitch. So this next one is going to be a pile up and you're going to be standing on top of a ammo crate. With this one you'll be able to refill your ammo while you kill the zombies, which makes this very very good. And this one is fairly easy to get into. All you do is simply go ahead and head up these stairs. This time you want to open a door. Not like the last video, you don't want to keep closed, you want to open it. Now you guys want to line up exactly like so, so exactly right here in front of this railing. Then you want to mantle. After you mantle, you want to move to your right slightly. You should land on top of this ammo crate. If you have done it right, then the zombies should pile up where you just were before you mantled. If they throw meat at you, it's not patch. That just means you didn't do it right and you want to try it again. Now, if you get on this and they don't pile up and they end up going to you and hitting you, it's not patch. You just didn't do it right and you want to try again. Just keep on doing it, do a mantle, and then move slightly to the right, and you guys should land right on top of the ammo crate, and they should pile up where you did just mantle. Now, when you are on this glitch, all zombies will pile up where you just mantled. You want to keep power off when you're doing this glitch, and that's because some zombies will be able to attack you. So that is a very big negative. You really don't want to turn on power. Next thing is if you do turn on power, the plague hounds will definitely be able to kill you. So like I said, just keep power off and get pack-a-punch weapons 
through the challenges that you can do in this map. So go ahead, get a legendary challenge and get a pack punch weapon or just get the wonder weapon. Now when you're on this glitch, the Megaton will be able to kill you so you want to take him out as fast as you can. This glitch only piles up the zombies and I like this one just because you can refill your ammo by just simply looking down towards the ammo crate. So it's definitely a very very good glitch because you can refill your ammo. Now that's it for this glitch right here and now let's go to the next one. This next one is a mantle pile up spot. Now it is in a different location from the one that I posted earlier. So this one is different and this one is definitely a very very good one and really easy to do. So all you do is come over to the speed cola room, then you guys want to jump like so, you guys want to make sure you're right here. Then you guys want to go at a distance and jump, move forward, mantle, once you guys mantle you then want to push back and then you guys want to stop pushing back when you are done mantling. At this point if you have done that properly then all zombies will pile up right down below you. This is definitely a very good glitch because the zombies will pile up down below you and you will be able to collect all the power ups, so that means you can collect max ammos. Now another thing that's very important is you want to keep the door closed, that is just literally right in front of you. So keep that door closed and go to this room the other way. Now when you are in this glitch, the plague hounds will be able to kill you so you have to worry about those. They should be really easy to take out and all that stuff like that. If you do turn off power and keep power off then you won't have to worry about the plague hounds whatsoever. Next thing is the megaton. The megaton will be able to kill you so you want to take them out as fast as you can. So this one is definitely a very very good glitch because of how easy it is to get into and the max ammo. But make sure you keep in mind, plague hounds can get you, so keep power off. Now also the megaton, keep in mind, that will definitely kill you so you want to take them out as fast as you can. Now that's it for that glitch right there and let's move on to the last two glitches. Now these last two glitches are more known and these are just really really good glitches because nothing can get you in these last two glitches which is very good. So this next one is a simple knife lun. I have posted this several times but I'm posting it again just to let you know it still works after patch and just you guys just really need to know this one if you don't. So what you need to do is simply get Juggernog, which that is what you need. Also, I really recommend you guys to get the Stamina Up Tier 3. That's really what you want as well, but you just need Juggernog Tier 3. Now, once you guys get those perks, you then want to head all the way over to the Particle Accelerator Room. Once you are here, you guys want to take one zombie and you want to make sure you only have one zombie. Then you want the zombie to be behind you just like so, and then you guys want to mantle the railing. Once you guys mantle the railing, you then want to jump on this other railing, then go up the railing a little bit, so then a zombie climbs up and all that stuff like that. That's what you want to happen. At this point, you guys want to line up exactly like so, and you guys want to do a run and jump. You guys want to hit the sliding barrier, then you guys want to knife. Once you guys knife, you should fly in the air. Once you're in the air, you guys want to spam the button to jump, and you should be right on top of this barrier right here. Now that may seem a bit complicated, but it's really easy. Just make sure you guys follow exactly what I do. If you have to, just rewatch that and just keep watching it until you understand it. It is really easy to do, and with this glitch, definitely I can get it very easily. But once you are on top of this barrier, you then want to follow exactly where I go. You guys want to drop down right here to this one ledge, then drop down to the lower ledge. At this point, you want to follow me, and you should not hit any death barriers if you follow exactly where I go. If you go anywhere else, then you will hit death barriers. Now at this point, you guys want to then run and mantle and run as fast as you can to this other part right here. And just keep on running, and if you guys do right, you guys shouldn't hit any death barriers. But if you do, you'll be just fine if you just hit one or two death barriers, you won't die. But once you do get to this location, you want to first start this pile up by going to this exact spot. Then you can go around to the other corner, just where you see me. Now once you are here, you guys will see that all the zombies will pile up right in front of you. Now when you are in this glitch and in this spot, absolutely nothing will be able to get you. No plague hounds, no zombies or megaton. This is a very very good glitch and really easy to do. Now once you are in this glitch, the one thing that is not too great about this glitch is that you won't be able to collect any power ups. The only way you can get ammo is if you get the ammo from when the megaton drops clips. So go right ahead when you kill the megaton, head over to where the megaton died and try to find the clips from outside the map. Next thing is if you have the demon machine shockwave, you can also get ammo by just using that weapon by sucking up the zombies and shooting them and just keep on rinsing and repeating. The best weapon to bring is definitely the shockwave so bring that if you can if you guys want to go through high rounds. But that's it for that glitch right there and let's move on to the next and final glitch. This final glitch is really well known, a lot of people have posted it, I have, and this glitch is just very good. This glitch is definitely the best glitch on this map right now. What you need to do is simply get Jug and that's the only thing that you really need. You also can get Stamina Up and Quick Revive if you want. Next thing is you guys want to have two zombies at the end of a wave. 
Once you have those two zombies, you then want to train up the two zombies and have them follow exactly where I'm going. You then want to go prone all the way over here, and once they start to hit you, you then want to crouch, go prone, crouch, and go prone, and keep on moving forward while they do this. If you do this right, then you should get breached right under the map like so. Now when you are underneath this map, there is a various amount of locations that you can go. I definitely recommend you guys to stay in this area if you definitely don't know how to glitch too well, because you may die going to other spots, but you can go to other spots. I'm just going to show you guys this spot right here, not the other spots. If you want to see the other spots, definitely drop a like. Let's get this to 115 likes, and then I might be uploading the other spots. So, once you are done getting to this area right here, you guys then want to follow exactly where I go. Now be careful, do not go too far away from the spot because if you do, you can fall underneath the map and that will mess it all up. So make sure you guys keep that in mind. You guys want to head all the way over to this right here and you guys want to just simply stand right here. When you do stand right here, all zombies will pile up right above you and they kind of will be more in front of you than just straight up above you. It will be very easy to take out. Next thing is the playhounds will pile up where the zombies pile up. Finally, the Megaton will pile up directly above you and you will be able to take him out very easily. Definitely stay tuned if you do want to see the other spots because once this gets 115 likes in 24 hours, then I will be posting another video and I will show you guys some other spots with this under map. But that's it for this glitch. Now, if you do want to get ammo, it's really easy. Just simply walk forward. There's going to be an ammo crate that's in the map. You can't jump up and grab ammo from underneath the map. So this glitch is definitely the best glitch. Very good. And there is even more crazy spots with this glitch. Like I said, drop a like, get this to 115 likes, and then I will post more videos on different glitches. Stay tuned for more glitches and more zombies content coming out daily. Now in the next zombies map, there definitely will be crazy glitches that I will be finding and posting and all that good stuff. So definitely stay tuned. But that's it for this video on this crazy, crazy glitch. Definitely make sure you smash the like button. I don't think I'm going to do any trick questions this video just because it is a very long video and it's longer than my other one. So there will be a trick question in my next video, but not this one. But anyway, so that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe to be part of the ninja team today. Because don't be a ninja, you'll be silent. I'm called Silent 9. But anyway, so that's it. Peace in the newest video. Have a great day. You guys are awesome. See you later. Peace. Now, if you have watched until the very, very end, I do want to say thank you. If you watched after the outro, thank you so much. If you have watched to this point, let me know by putting hashtag silent nine music in the comments down below if you do end up doing that then i definitely will reply to you saying that you're a legend for watching this until the very very end all the way after the outro that's it for this video on this crazy crazy compilation have a great day peace out